Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just be logged into your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just simply wait for that. Now click on continue. Now just simply come back to the library instructions and click on the task number one. Now just simply scroll down and make sure that you have to run this state zone command. So just simply copy like this way, come back over here and wait for a couple of seconds over here. Click on this, got it. Now just paste, hit enter, wait for a second and then click on authorize. Now again come back over here, no need to run this list command, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this command, copy like this, come back over here and just simply paste, hit enter. Now again come back over here, just simply scroll down, no need to run this get command, just simply scroll down and from the task number 2, copy this first command, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Now again come back over here, then just simply copy this command and just simply wait for this command get executed and it's done. Now just simply run the second command of task number 2. Now again just simply scroll down, then copy this third command come back over here paste hit enter now again come back over here no need to run this gate command just simply scroll down and just simply copy this command just simply copy like this come back over here and now just simply wait for this command get execute it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that And it's done. Now just simply run the point number 5 command of task number 2. Now again come back over here. Now here you can see it's saying that you will get the external IP over here. But if you just simply come back to the live instructions, as you can see, we are not getting any external IP. So no need to worry about that. Just simply continue with the next command. So just simply copy this command, copy like this, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second. And as you can see, we are getting output like 0, 0, 0. But on the live instruction page, what they mentioned, you must get an output like 200. So no need to worry about that. If you just simply scroll down over here and click on the check my progress, you will get a green tick over here without any issue and if you are not able to get a green tick over here no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a green tick over here for sure and that's the way you have to complete the task number two now for the task number four and task number five what you do just simply come back over here now here just simply search for the log and here you can see log storage just simply open this thing new tab and come back over here now just simply wait and here you can see this bucket name default bucket name just simply slide over here and then click on this upgrade over here and then click on this upgrade over here now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this name carefully and make sure that you do not copy any extra space while copying the name so just simply copy like this come back over here and then click on this create log bucket over here just simply click and just simply paste the name over here which you just copy now click on this checkbox and then click on this checkbox over here now for the data set name just simply come back over here and from the point number five just simply copy this name over here just simply come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way now you can see region in the future if you are able to find the different region over here on the lab instruction page that time you can just simply choose that otherwise you can just simply continue with the global region over here and then click on this create bucket over here it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just simply click on this log explorer over here just simply click over here wait for a couple of seconds and then click on this unwanted pop-up first of all and then click on this more action and then click on this create sync over here now what you do just me come back to the lab instructions just simply scroll down i will copy this thing in letter so just simply scroll down and from here just we copy this name carefully copy like this way come back over here and just paste over here like this way now click on this next and now just simply click over here and from here just simply choose a logging bucket over here now just simply click over here and then just simply choose the second one not a default one this second one and if you are not able to find this bucket just simply refresh the page and again just simply perform the all steps now just simply click over here like this way and then click on this next now here you can see link for this filter what you do just simply come back over here and just simply scroll up and from here just simply copy this filter over here copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way now click on this next and then click on this create sync over here it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that and it's done now if you just simply click on the check my progress for the both the tasks you will get a green tick and full score on the both the tasks without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys